All right then, track fans. Hey, Albert. Hey, Wilf. How you doing? What are you up to, guys? So I'm just doing a quick one on a Friday. That's right. I'm getting it in quick. Uh, it is five o'clock, so I'm off the clock. Get in. The weekend has landed. And I am going slot car racing tonight. As you can see, I've got my box of tricks here. And uh, if you're watching this, Dave, hang on. I'm glued on. I am glued on and ready to race. Yes, mate. So we'll have some of that. So that's what I was just doing. But what I wanted to do was to say thanks to Ian and Doug from Magnetic Racing. So let's have a look. Oh, no, not that one. Quick. Nearly, nearly spoiled, nearly spoiled my banners that go along the bottom here. It's a new to me. So it's a new toy. Right. So let me just move my NSCC mug. Over there, don't want to break that. It's a treasured, cherished bit of kit. So, went to the Milton Keynes swap meet on the weekend, just gone, and I will bring you event coverage of that. So, bear with me on that one. And um, we were there, and I bought a building. We actually, I actually bought. I don't know how well you can see this. So, what I'm going to do is I'm, I'm going to put up a photograph of it. There you go. That's what we got. This is called the Barrel Bar. You can probably see it here or here. Who knows? I'm going to edit this a little bit afterwards. Maybe put it out tomorrow morning. Take the pressure off. Because I do want to put the pictures up for Ian and Doug. These buildings are next level. Wood. Oh. <sighs> smells wonderful. The smell of wood. When wood has been uh, lasered and cut. Really, you really, really smells good. And so this one's a barrel bar. Uh, not sure if that's inspired by anything, any building anywhere, but we'll come on something in a minute. It is a bit special. And uh, what we've done is um, we've agreed that my lad Lucas is going to have a go at this. So let's get him set up. Okay, that is, that is a good tip for you. If you're uh, thinking of priming this wood, this one, this one works really well. So that is for him to crack on with. And uh, we got chatting at the show and Ian and Ian was there and it was great. And you'll see our chat in the next episode. But while we were chatting away, I was having a bit of tongue in cheek opportunist banter saying to him, right, when are you going to send me some stuff? And I'll gladly talk over it on my show because I love you guys. And you know what? Something turned up today. So honestly, I wasn't expecting it, but thank you very much, guys. You're the best. You're the best. Now I've got a load of work to do because I've got myself a doghouse. If you haven't, so I'll put a picture up over here. No, over here somewhere. There you go. And um, you can check out this. This is available now from your local stockist. Wherever you are in the world, you can get some of this or go to magneticracing.com. And uh, here we go, magneticracing.com and place your order and they'll dispatch this to anywhere you want on the face of the planet. Great, guys. So I'm going to keep you posted on this as we do it. My lad is going to do the barrel bar, also now available from thinking uh, from Magnetic Racing. Oh, I thought thinking Skelectric there. That's a sister brand. And we've got the dog house. I can't wait to get stuck into that. If you go to, and I'll put it here as well. Um, if you go to Magnetic Racing, Thinking Skelectric YouTube channel and have a look for one of their most recent uh, videos, they've done a painted and an unpainted version of this that you can actually look at ahead of me getting my skates on and building this up. And then, and then it doesn't stop there. Dudes, you're amazing. They've sent me, oh, hang on. No, I forgot. Hang on. I got a, I got a figure. I got a figure that come with a doghouse. So I need to put that with there so I don't lose it. And then they've surprised me. They've sent me a Marshall Tower. Uh, sorry, a Marshall Post. Ah, it's a tower. You know what I mean. 
but these ones are really good. So the, the reason I like this particular model is it's available in one in 32 scale or one in 24th scale. So if you've got a bit bigger, you know, a, a thing for a bit bigger, then what you can do is you can uh, buy one that's more appropriate to your scale. So that was quite exciting that they're actually now developing different scales. And one other thing is they've started to do actually, well, they've been doing it for a while. It's not a new thing, but it's new. It was a new idea for me. They started to actually replicate actual buildings from racetracks in a period time. So if your, your passion is, I don't know, classic F1 racing and your track set up around where you are is lent to that era so you've got classic electric track you've got classic buildings like if you look back a few episodes of mine you see the martini building that's from classic era or you've got magnetic racing coming home and and some of their other newer items are bringing you those iconic buildings so for instance the doghouse does anybody know where or what or program and series this was from I ain't going to say the words because it's probably going to choke up some copyright with YouTube. <sighs> YouTube and copyright, I tell you, don't even get me started on that. But so there you go. Right. Thank you very much, Ian and Doug. You are legends. Thank you very much. The bottom of my heart. That is it. I've now got, I've got things to do until probably August. Um, that being said, I mean, you can uh, watch me doing content. Uh, there's a few other channels on interweb on YouTube that are pretty cool, keeping up with your content. So I talk about stuff, my adventure on slot cars. I'm not, I'm not overly big on bringing you cutting edge news. You know, generally uh, more of the hobby side of it, uh, racy side of it kind of creative side of it that whole kind of tracking news down i might grow up i might grow into it i don't know i'll check it out in the future but if you wanted to find more news related stuff or actually some more specific technical data because let's face it i'm not overly the detailist am i so you've got other channels you've got travis my good friend travis over at uh, that slot car guy uh, you got Dave over at uh, Slot Car News. You've got Marty, Two Lanes. You've got Booney at Booney Slot Car Garage. You've got John Soden at uh, his channel. And you've got Gary. You've got Cleve Tip. You've got all sorts of stuff that you can uh, tune into. You can probably actually now watch Slot Cars five days a week and find that you can, uh, you can got, you've got some different content. Uh, that's what I'm enjoying. And now, what I'm going to be interested to see for the next episode, which is coverage of the Milton Keynes swap meet. Hang on. You get my filing system out. Boosh. There it was. That was a cracking event. I actually filmed last year's swap meet. So we can actually look at this one and look at that one. And I'll tell you now, I saw it because I realized when I was doing it that this year's event was much, much busier. There were more traders. There were more people. There was more activities. I mean, we took a track down there. So there is stuff going. Uh, the, the hobby is growing, which is an exciting time to be. So it, whatever you're into, whether it's modeling, whether it's tuning and racing, whether it's uh, building uh, static tracks, whether it's actually building the car, not even tuning and racing, just building it and maybe doing, you know, spray jobs and things this is my thin wall special it's nice needs a little bit more work doing on it i got the uh the, the guys up there somewhere anyway so what i'm saying is have a good weekend guys if i get this out tonight happy days if i don't get it out and i get it out tomorrow even better days but it's off to the race and i go it's polycar time see you later guys take care see you Ralph. see you wolf to the bit.